I'm really excited today to be here at the home of Pip Forrester. She's welcomed us into her kitchen. Thanks for having me, Pip. Absolute pleasure, Jen. Awesome. Now, I've asked Pip to make something that I've tasted of hers at many of a little function that you've catered for. Probably, really, you tell me it's really simple, but I'd like to see how to make it. It's your delicious mayonnaise. Okay, and it is simple. It really is simple. Uh, and as I, as I do it, I'll tell you some of the tricks. Great. But just, just make a general comment about mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is the base for lots and lots of sauces. It's not just, I mean, I use it to put on eggs and people have it for sandwiches and stuff, but it's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a base sauce for lots of different French things that, you know, aiolis and remoulades and stuff like that all start with the mayonnaise. So this is a really good skill to learn. Great. I'm making a one egg mayonnaise because you, you'd be surprised at how much volume you get out of one egg. So it, eggs are magic. These are from the market. They These are, are feather and peck eggs. Wait and, and Julie, have a look at the colour of the yolk of this. It's fantastic. So just separate your egg. You just need one yolk in this instance. Don't have, to be, don't, don't have to be super, super fussy. <laughs> so for me, one of the secrets, I think, to a mayonnaise emulsifying easily is a trick, and that is called Dijon mustard. Right. A, it gives flavour. B, it does help to emulsify it. So don't be mean with the Dijon mustard. So one egg, one heaped teaspoon of Dijon mustard, roughly. Um, I, I really don't have a recipe for this. I honestly just make it up as I go along. Then a pinch of salt. And this is the best salt in the world. Sorry, it's not from the Fleury, but it's a South Australian product. This is the Murray River pink salt. I swear by it. It's just so sweet and delicious. Perfect. I use it for everything. A little bit of uh, red wine vinegar. And then you just whiz that all together. So that's your base. Then you add gradually, and they say drop by drop. Well, you don't need to do drop by drop, but you do need to do it slowly to start. And then you, once you've, you can see the emulsification happening, you can speed it up. So I'll tell you about that as we go. Okay. So just a quick um, olive oils. Outside of grapes, um, we know Flu Peninsula is strong with olives. So at the market, we've got three oils minimum. We've also got uh, the farm Wollonga oil, which I don't have here today, but we've got Romney Estate, so P Peninsula Providor, and Cockatoo uh, Creek Farm, and we've uh, also got olives from these companies and from Two Hills and a Creek. So we've got quite good representation, as you know, mm. um, at the farmer's market. So if you're looking for oil, come to Wollonga Farmer's Market, you'll find it there. Okay, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'll use um, Romney Estate. Estate. These guys are all mates, of course. They all you compete together and they you know, they share ideas, yes. share their successes and, and, and talk about products together and all of that. So they're, they're a good lot. Okay, so to start with quite slowly, you just put a few drops in and just, and what I've got here also is a, I've just got this on a wet, a wet uh, cloth so the, the bowl doesn't move. Okay. Okay, because I've got to, I can't hold the bowl and my hands sure. are busy. So you just gradually just... That third just, hand that we need. <laughs> exactly. So then this, um, just gradually, gradually, just keep whisking all the time. And I hope this isn't the one occasion in my life when it doesn't work. Yes, so it was a very yellow yolk, did you notice? And now I'm putting in quite a grassy green olive oil. So we're ending up with this quite gorgeous sort of, I don't know, greeny, yellowy, luscious. And the goal here is, to, is for it to be really luscious. See how it's got that, it's beginning to thicken up. Uh, and I wanted to have a really shiny, glossy texture to it. See how unctuous it's getting? And see how easy it is. It's very easy. You just have to whisk a lot. It's good for your arm muscles. Rest that arm up. And I haven't—I don't know the volume, so you just keep putting the oil in until you think, hmm, yep. this egg isn't going to take any more of this. So once you've got to this base, uh, at this point, I could probably push this, but I won't. So the texture is really quite, mm. quite goopy. Yeah. And it could be that you actually want it thinner than this. Um, and if you do, there's a, you, can, you can thin mayonnaise down. I might show you how to do that. Usually it's with a flavouring, like it could be a bit more vinegar, it could be lemon juice, it could, or it could just be water, depending on what you want to do. This is your base now, and then you work out what you want to do with it. How do you want to flavour it? What are you using it for? What texture do you want it to be? All of that. Mm. Was that a was that a good? Mm, it's good. It need, for me now. It needs um, it needs some freshness. So it needs some lemon juice or some bit more vinegar or something like yeah, that. Oh, it's so beautiful. And it will also um, change the flavour. Mm. Better? Different? Or is mm. that better? No, it's good. It, it just lifts it. It gives us freshness. And you could also put some basil. Mm. 
into that. Yeah. And this and this 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 go, this goes a long way. So it's economical too compared to buying a so dip. It's, yeah. It's so much cheaper and easier, I think. Probably less than a dollar. Yeah. Worth of produce. There's a bit of there was a bit of olive oil in that, but yeah. Um, but certainly less than, than yeah. paying for dip. And as you said, mm. no clutter, easy, make it, use it. Yeah, that's it. Great. So, mayonnaise. Excellent. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, Wollonga Farmers Market is open every Saturday. You'll find feather and peck, you'll find olive oil, Boils. and you will definitely see Pip wandering around doing her shopping every week. So, thanks, Pip. That's for sure. Can't, not, can't miss it. Thanks, Jen.